Hey guys, I'm Ivan from The Ball Coaching and Fitness and welcome to my gym. Alrighty, so this is my gym guys. This is where we do our best work. And this is also where I use all my skills from primary school. All subjects are basically incorporated in this business. So if you're ever thinking about what your subjects do for you later on in life, this is it. All right. Hi, Ivan. My name is Lockie. I'm one, I'm one of the leaders, and I'm just here to ask you a few questions today. Awesome. So, tell us, Ivan, what your occupation is. My occupation, um, I'm a personal trainer in, uh, in the heart of Shepparton. Uh, I own the, the, the business, uh, the gym facility, the ball coaching and fitness. Um, we have lots and lots of members and we've got lots to do with how people move and perform. Very nice. Right, we'll get on with some of the questions. So, Corva. Hi, Ivan. I'm Corva, and I have a question for you. Go for it. Um, what do you like about your job? Oh, what do I like about my job? I love, I love many things about my job. Um, I love the fact that I get to help people uh, with their physical abilities help people get better um, at certain movements and issues as well, which is great. Um, but the most, the most uh, fulfilling thing about um, my role as a personal trainer is I get to interact with a lot of people, um, just like you guys right now, which is really cool. Um, so, yeah, well, I've got a really diverse job, which is, which is amazing, and, and it's taken a while to get here. But uh, we're finally here and a nice, nice big facility that I can uh, my job very well at. Good nice. question. Thank you. And what subjects did you like at school? Well, one of my, one of my favourite subjects was obviously sport. Uh, so the PE. Um, art was a good one. Um, I didn't mind a bit of maths. That, that You always need a bit of maths. You know what? There's, there's a little bit of everything, but I think the, the main one was PE and art were my favourites. Thank you. And Ben has got the next question. Thanks, Cora. Cool. Hi, I'm Ben. How, hey, ben did, how did Guthrie Street impact your life? Oh, that's a good one. Well, obviously, Guthrie Street was where I went to primary school. Um, it's where I met some of my, my good friends that I still still talk to today. And um, Guthrie Street provided a great environment um, where I learned just like you guys, had, um, had great teachers, uh, great friends, good classrooms. And yeah, that's, that, it, was a, it was a big impact on my life and everyone else's life who, who goes to Guthrie Street. So good question. Thank you. I got another one. How did school help your life? How did school help my life? Well, school school's a very big part of everyone's lives, um, and I think the biggest the biggest impact um, and how it helped was obviously learning how to take on new subjects and challenges. Um, is 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 actually pretty important when you get to an older stage in life. You know, you go to uni, or you know, you try a different course, or you just try different uh, different roles or jobs. You know, you've got to try and learn new new things. So, school is a very important thing where you've got to learn new things constantly. So, great question again. Yeah, well done. Thank you. On to Will, I think. Uh, what was your favourite excursion? My favourite excursion? I think, I think it was called, well, it was a camp. It was called Camp Carabine, I think it's called. I don't know if they still go there, but um, that was my favourite excursion 
and camp. So always loved going there. That was really cool. And the next one is, do you remember the program, You Can Do It? Do I remember the program, You Can Do It? Is that right? Yeah. No, I don't, I don't remember it. I'm sorry. I can't remember That's that one. That's okay. On to Aussie for the next one. Awesome. Hi, I'm okay. Aussie. Uh, how do you feel when you got your Business of the Year nomination? Oh, well, it was, um, it was a pretty... Pretty big, um, pretty big realization for me. I, I wasn't actually expecting anything like that, and um, you know, we're, I'm I'm just thankful that we've got great members and, and a great team here that you know can. It's not just me. I've I've got uh, three other coaches with us, um, and there's many clients and members who who go with them as well. So um, it's it's a it's a team effort and we're very, very, uh, very humble that we, we got a nomination. So yeah, it's, it, we'll see what the end of the year brings. So good question. Thank you. Um, and also was your business hard to start? It was hard to start. I'm not going to say it was easy. Um, just like anything goes, you've got to work hard for it. Um, it started pretty small. I, started working for other people as well in the same industry. Um, and then I moved to my own business. Um, and now I can happily say that from, uh, from my first uh, facility that I had, I've, I've quadrupled it. That means times four, I've, um, I've made it bigger again. So um, with, with more people and a, and, a, and a greater team. So it starts small. You gotta work hard for it to get bigger and better. Um, we'll hand it back over to Corbin for the next question. Thank you. Hi again. Um, what motivated you to start your business? What motivated me to start my business? I think it was a little bit of, I think it was a little bit of, um, I would like, I, I wanted to replicate, oh, not replicate, I wanted to achieve something that I would have liked when I was younger. Um, you know, not, not quite the age of you guys, but a little bit older, like high school level. Um, just for information on how to move better, um, information on how to eat better, you know, sleep better, all these kinds of things. And, um, and that was kind of my motivation. Um, to give to give back what I I I didn't get or, or or couldn't seek out from the start. So that was that was a, a big part of my motivation. But um, but also you know uh, wanting a business of my own was was definitely motivation as well. So great question. Um, and why do you like helping people so much in your job? I like helping people. Um, because I'm a people person, um, and I could, I, I've, I've been before and those jobs just, just didn't, um, I, I didn't feel like I was helping people with those jobs, but personal training, I literally get to help people personally. So, um, you know, have a chat. If someone's feeling, you know, and they need to bump their spirits back up, you know, we do that with movement and exercise. If, uh, you know, uh, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a good question. I, I think I feel um, it's, a, it's a personal experience. You've you got to be on a connection level, and uh, that's, that's, that's why I like uh, helping people. Nice. I think Ben has got the next question. Okay, go for it. Hi, again. What is the best advice you've ever been given? Ooh, that's a good one. Best advice I've ever been given. Um, I think I think the best advice I've ever been given, and I, I um, I still have it to this day, um, is. There's, 
I was gonna I was gonna make a uh, say a quote, but I won't say that quote because it might mean different things. So uh, I think the best advice I've ever been given is just to work hard at what you feel passionate for. Work hard at what you what you really like, what you really like, and and really stand your ground and stick with it. Um, so yeah, that that's that's probably the best advice that I I've been given. Thank you. Uh, one more, and then it's over to Will. What is your favourite quote? My favourite quote? Ooh. Are we talking movie quotes or inspirational quotes? Any? Any? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, oh, my favourite quote. Uh, you guys have seen like Kung Fu Panda, yeah? The first one? I'm sure you would have, yeah. I love that. I love that movie. Um, I, I'm pretty sure the oh, the turtle. I can't remember his name. You guys will know, but he says, um, if I remember it correctly, says, "Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a present. Uh, today is a gift. That's why they call it the present." I like that one. That's probably one of my favorite quotes. Good question. I like that one. Thank you. On to Will now. Uh, hi again. Do you remember any teachers from Guthrie Street? I do. I do. Is, is, is Mr. Bicknell still there? Yeah, yeah, he's the principal. Yes, oh, Mr. Bicknell. Yes. Well, look, just like you guys, uh, uh, you have many teachers over. Um, over Guthrie Street, but uh, Mr. Bicknell was my last teacher in grade six. And, um, and you know, I still have a chat to him at the coffee corner. And uh, no, he's, he's a great guy and a great teacher and, and uh, a good friend now. So. Yeah, on to Ozzy for the next one. Hi again. Uh, what were your friend's names at GSPS? What, and what was are my... you still... Uh, what are your favourite... What what were your friends' names at Guthrie Street? And are you still friends with any of them now? Yeah, of course. Of course I am. Um, I had Liam, Dave, Mitch, Kyle, and Zach. They were, they, were, they were my friends. They were all my friends. And uh, oh, probably about four, four of them still speak to today. The other two, I don't know what they're doing. I uh, would love to get in touch <laughs> with them. But, um. But yeah, and I still speak to all my friends today. Yeah, and we'll hand it over to Bakila again now to finish this up. All right, thanks, Ivan. We're going to do the fast fives. So you can only have one or two worded answers. And I'll start you off. What's your favourite food? Chicken and rice. <laughs> Where is your dream holiday destination? Hamilton Island. Do you have a pet? Yes, Teddy. What's your favourite colour? Orange. Favourite emoji face? Smiley face. <laughs> there. Is that I think five? we'll wrap Is that it up five? with that. Yeah, that's five. That's five? Oh, okay. Hang on. I'm going to do a fast five to you. Ready? Yep. All right. Favourite colour? Uh, red. Uh, holiday destination? South of France. Oh, that's a good one. Um, any pets? Dog. Two dogs. Dog. Labrador. Oh, lovely. How many is that? Three? Um, yeah. Favourite sport? Uh, soccer. Soccer. Oh, here we go. And last one. Favourite soccer player? Um... Perlo Dabala. Oh, nice one. Good work. Fast fight for you. Good. Well done. Yeah. Thanks, Ivan, for coming on today. No worries, guys. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure to chat to you all. Um, thanks, Miss Turton, for organising this. Uh, it was really cool. And um, something that I'll, I'll remember in the future. Thanks very much, guys. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be able to see you in face-to-face -face soon. Absolutely. I would love that, guys. I would love to meet you all.
and uh, hopefully we can go through some activities together. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. Awesome.